Hey guys, my name is Elona and as usual I'm excited to see you here on my YouTube channel and it will be extremely quick uh, tutorial where I'm gonna show you how to add depth uh, of field to your vector illustration to make your graphics more cinematographic for your, for example, explainer videos. Why not? And before we start, as usual, don't forget to hit a like and drop a comment if you like my content, of course, and join my Patreon, yeah, because there I publish even more exclusive stuff, even more project files, and yeah, I'm sure you will enjoy the content that I publish there. Okay, so I have this character, you see here, uh, this one, and I'm gonna duplicate it, Ctrl plus D, and then I will add uh, fill effect. Okay, make it black. And then I will add uh, layer style. It will be inner glow. Let's change the color to the white. So right now we create kind of map for the depth of field. Okay, let's increase the size. Okay, pretty cool. And we'll create one more solid layer, it will be white. Put it behind the character. And select this um, layer with character and the new solid that we just created and move it to the precompose. Let's call it S map. Okay, perfect. I also will move the original character to the new precompose and here uh, you don't have to you know just stay with the you know static graphics so it could be animated character and uh, you know it will work it still will work okay let's move it to the precompose and let's say like original Okay, and to this original precompose we will apply camera lens blur effect and we will use uh, the blur map that we just created. Let's choose it and you probably see that everything works perfectly. So we have blurred, you know, ed edges and we have, you know, sharp parts inside and it looks pretty cool. You can decrease the amount of blur and get very nice results because personally i don't like actually this sharp effect uh, that you know vector graphics actually gave us so that's how you can easily you know make it more smooth let me know if you like this quick technique if you will apply it to your project personally i just apply it in my current project and it looks very cool i hope to publish the animation very soon and you will see it and of course uh, don't forget about likes comments subscription <laughs> to my channel and again i remind you about my patreon where i publish all project files exclusive content podcasts so a lot of stuff there it really helps me you know to create more free content and also you know some exclusive stuff for you for motion designers for my dear colleagues thanks for being here thanks for watching and see you in the next video very soon i hope so